Hi guys, welcome everyone. This is just a very quick update on what I've been up to for today. So I've isolated my animation system uh, to a new project that I can redistribute without any issues, turned off all the plugins, everything that, all the dependencies. And uh, I'm about to do some tutorials on how I achieved this and why things are set up as they are and making a an example of setting up few Paragon characters to do their own animations or retargeted animations. In this example, this is the entire logic I've done. Uh, you just have a... Um, if it is controlled by AI, so any character that is placed in the world um, is being uh, possessed by AI controller, uh, basically, except for the one that is being spawned for us. So if it is an AI, it is just looking for uh, player pound zero and set focus to it. So uh, basically focus the aim offset on this character. Uh, we are turning down the additive alpha because all the animations in this example, uh, unfortunately, just run any animation. Uh, Oh, I wanted to see bones. Yeah, all hierarchy. So, like you can see, all the IK bones, they are not matching the animation bones. And the IK system I have set up is partially relying on those IK bones. Uh, so, either the foot are being completely locked if this stays to one, and whatever you do. Uh, your foot will look just ridiculous to do IK or everything works perfectly but when you are aiming at certain angles you will have a slight foot sliding so how does it work? that's the typical animation BP I haven't changed anything about the third person LMBP uh, except I removed everything that was all the setup of the variables. I've just made them exposed and that's it I did. Uh, and they are being used here. So you have an entry pose that is just idle, can't do it, and third person uh, tag. By this tag you enter this pose and this is just a linked graph where I push the variables that I'm already calculating here. So, very easy setup, you can see that the character is aiming as should with a very nice soft transition, you can see a bit of a foot sliding when he's tilting his pelvis a bit and you basically got uh, procedural strafing and all those guys they are looking at me at any angle and they will not look too awkward about it. This one guy is actually rotating once he hit 90 degrees turn. He doesn't have a turn in place animation because I, we haven't got any of those animations yet. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's behaving a bit differently. All those guys are just looking at me with a 135 degree uh, aim offset. So yeah. That's it, it's ready for distribution and right now I am starting recording tutorials that explains first of all how things work and how to work with them and how to make your own modifications uh, and some examples of adding animations from different packs and using them in different way without changing a single line uh, of code or changing any blueprint in the component itself. Thanks for listening and hopefully see all of you soon in the upcoming tutorials.